Welcome to my 11th tutorial on Erlang. Today we're going to talk about concurrency. One of the main reasons for using Erlang is its ability to handle concurrency and distributed programming. A process is a thread of execution and threads of ex execution in Erlang shares no data hence the name process. We're going to use uh, an Erlang built-in function spawn to create a new process. So let's get started. I'm going to create a function. I'm going to create two functions. One is to display something and the other is to launch or spawn in currency. So let's get started. We call the first function say something. And I say something takes into parameters. The first one will be the value and the amount of times it should be displayed, which will which is the best way to explain the concurrency in Erlang. So times. We want to display the value. So Iodo format. Since we're go we're gonna type in a string, so squiggle s, squiggle n for next line, and what we want to display is the value. Next thing we do is we call we recursively call the function again, say something, and we send in the value and we send in the times minus one. Now, when say something is zero, we want to return a string called done. So say something, nothing. Now we want to return done, are you format? string done next line yeah perfect now we add it into the export say something takes in two parameters Second function we're going to write is to use is to use concurrency. So we use we call it start start con call it takes in two variables which are going to be used in say something. So value one. You can have multiple, multiple, um, multiple parameters. Value two depends on how many spawn you want to create. Spawn. Spawn takes in three arguments or three parameters. The first one is the module, which ours is called easy. The second is the export exported function, which is called say something. And the third is the values we're given say something, which is the first one is value one. Well, yeah, value one and the amount of time which we want it to display three times, so three times and we create another spawn yeah, so easy, as much you say something as the function and the arguments of value 2 copy and paste this 
value two three times and hopefully everything will work smoothly now we just had that into the export as well start concurrency takes in two arguments now <clears throat> first thing we do is we have a shell running change directory to the easy location so cd we compile the easy file c perfect now easy say something What do we want to say? Hello world. We're sending in a string hello world. How many times? Three times. As you can see, I'm just going to move this up so you can have a better view. As you can see, hello world three times. Now let's test our concurrency. Now, hello world and really, really, really something, really perfect. Now, hopefully this will work just fine. All right, so we send in hello world, really, really. That is the PID 0 0.114.0. That is the PID, we basically, Spawn returns a process identifier or a PID which is uniquely identified the processes. So the second one run, hello world, really and done done. Yeah. It's unpredictable how the concurrency works. So again we run it a second time and it runs smoothly, returning a new PID and it's it's just unpredictable every time you run concurrency it can run maybe one runs now the other one runs a few seconds later or it's just yeah hello world really 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 so when you're programming in concurrency for Erlang you have to just keep this in mind that things run dynamically you've enjoyed my tutorial for today I will see you soon enough